country is very hard at work trying to find ways to contain the mpox virus. This after the WHO, the World Health Organization, declared it a global public health emergency. Well, let's get a sense of where we are as South Africa. I'm joined by Professor Helen Rees, a co-chair of South Africa's mpox incident management team, overseeing our country's mpox response. Professor, great to have you uh, on ENC. I would like to start here, if we could. How are we responding as a country to this? What should we know as the public? Well, I think the, the first thing to say is that we uh, cases were identified back in April and the Department of Health convened um, this committee, as you just referred to it, it's an incident management team together. And this consists of um, heads of different divisions in the Department of Health, but also academics, laboratory scientists, community. So it has all the pillars that are required for response. And this group have been working hard on this, including the development from the provinces and the national department of plans of how to respond. And all of that has been put into place. So indeed, there has been a response nationally. It's been, you wouldn't have noticed it because it's been going on behind the scenes at quite an intense level. Mm. So far, we've had 24 cases. Um, and sadly, we've had three deaths uh, amongst those cases. Uh, but the 24 cases, uh, it, it, it's not the, the tens of thousands that we saw with COVID. And we are very much hoping that we can contain this outbreak. So approaches, uh, whenever we South Africans hear the word outbreak, I'm sure globally as well, Professor, I think we, we all begin to panic. We hear the word outbreak. We think of COVID-19. I, I mean, how, how easy is it to draw a parallel between your approaches now and the early days of COVID-19. I'd just like to allay some fears. Yes, and I agree with you. We must allay fears because I'm getting messages from people where we are hearing this sort of level of panic. Now, COVID-19 was a, a virus that was spread. Uh, it's a respiratory virus, so it's spread through the air. So if you're on a taxi, you're in a room, uh, you're in contact with someone with COVID, there was a high risk that you would get it. It was very transmissible. 